vlog number 164 and summer's finally in LA it's a beautiful day out here I feel like it's been winter for a whole last year yeah but yeah we're gonna start the day off right guys I always say it if you haven't yet get in the gym it's never too late don't be like me slack off gain all your way back <laughs> again we have 35,000 returning subscribers to the channel which means 10 to 12,000 of you have yet to subscribe so if you haven't yet go down below hit the subscribe button hold on this little old lady oh, I got you, they'll hit me first. They'll hit me first. You good? <laughs> but if you haven't yet, go down below, hit the subscribe button. The goal this year is 100,000 subscribers. You chilling? What, you didn't care about me crossing the street? Dude, she was a little old lady. I know, she literally that was almost, really nice. She almost tripped on the curb. I know, that was really nice. <laughs> and if you, if you really want to support the channel too, go down below. Turn on all post notifications. Really just enjoying my time not wearing that gold outfit. Again, it's just a work uniform, so every time I go film for Deb, which is every day, Why I gotta put it on. Why all of a sudden is he making you wear a uniform? Babe, we're a team, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, when I worked my nine to five, I had a uniform, right? I had to wear. Yes, uniform. Nah, this, this uniform's sick because instead of a button up and a tie and some slacks, it's good. I had a great workout today. But we are in a rush, so we're actually just gonna keep fasting right now, especially just because I've been doing a lot of food reviews at Dub, and then I had mom's birthday, so you know, I've been cheating here and there. And again, I don't want to slide backwards, so we are gonna fast until dinner tonight. I'm really excited. We're actually going to my record label, we're gonna go into a million dollar studio. I don't know what the plan is. Are me and Dub making a song? Is Dub just making a song? I'm not too sure. I set it up for him today because he asked me if we could go to the studio, and you know. I can go to the studio whenever I want. <laughs> uh, we're going to head over there right now, though, and let's just see what the rest of this vlog gets us into. See what that sticker says? Yeah. It says they got a baby up in this bitch. So I'm going to make sure not to ride their ass. Uh, if they didn't have that sticker, though, for sure, I'd ride that ass. Don't think I forgot either. I got my work fit in the back. My uniform. I love God! I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm just genuinely curious. Do you think that's foul right there? It could be. I should check in on Chino No Cap. You should. No. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, stranger? What's the word, man? Work, bro. Good to see y'all. Oh. Hi. Hi. What's going to see? Oh. You guys, right. you guys should already know these two. I'll be so mad at y'all if you don't. Actually, important people that make things move around the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, music doesn't happen without him. Plays don't happen without him. It's obvious. I'm just trying to get a ride in the new Tesla. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's right over there. I'm going to take you to the new Tesla in a little bit, bro. Let's get it. It has been a minute since we've been in Mint Room Studios. I think the last time, actually, that I did a video here, we were pranking Adrian. <laughs> Do you remember oh, that, Adrian? <laughs> when we did a prank on you in the studio? <laughs> been pranked a couple times. <laughs> I think Michael, was, Michael, one of the other engineers, was here, and he's like, "Can't go nowhere without with Demo, because if you Demo here, you can put you on a camera and end up getting pranked." <laughs> but yeah, man, this is this is my record label. This is my home. This is where everything originated in Los Angeles before I even started doing YouTube. Like, before I even met Dimitri or Tino, it was Treacherous Records, bro. And it's still Treacherous Records to the day I die. It's just, uh, pretty much we did exactly what we wanted to do. Like, Mickey really wanted me to be here every day, make connections, and grow. And become a better person every day I was here. And it started off with, like, sessions, songs, and started writing for other people. Then I met Dimitri, and then Dimitri introduced me to Chino, and Chino introduced me to the squad, and the rest is history, but... Man, the amount of weed I smoked in this room. I'm 30 days clean though right now, and it feels so, about 30 days clean, and it feels good, man, to actually sit here and like not be fiending to roll one up. Again, nothing against the ganja, bro. I'm just saying, like, it's just crazy, like how much life changes when you let go of something you've done for so long. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but yeah, uh, just waiting for Dub. So not everybody can come to Mint Room Studios for free and record a song, but because Dub's the homie, I set it up for him. This session's comped on me. But anybody can come to Mint Room Studios and book it. You just gotta pay some cash. It's not cheap. They working right now. I'm filming right now for Dub. Especially not cheap because that is a platinum engineer right there. Platinum engineer. Like he really has platinum records with some of the most famous artists in the world. You nervous? Not really. You're not nervous being in the room with all of them? You just let me know if you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Probably wondering why I don't have my gold fit on. I had to let Derek borrow, if you feel me, because they're the ones working on the song. So that was like, hey, let Derek put on the gold fit. I'm not going to lie. Thank God. You know my song, Never Let You Go, right? But, that, would you say that's one of my, your favorite songs for me? Oh, I never let you go when you, yeah. You know I made it in the studio. Who you my heart there, bro? It's crazy, bro. Dub got his song today, and Rich got a song today, and now it's time to bring y'all to my session. It's my turn to get a song today. It's it's nuts because. 15 years recording music, probably a little less because, you know, I'm, I haven't been recording music forever, but 15 years of smoking weed, I don't think I ever recorded a song sober, so <laughs> today is going to be the first time I ever sit down in a studio and record a song sober, like no weed, no alcohol, no nothing, just me, and we're going to see how it goes, but I'm really excited to show you guys the process and just how it all works. And I got a fire ass beat sent by the homie Vovo, shout out to you, bro, he's one of our in-house producers here at Mint Room. But yeah, it's gonna be sick, bro. I'm excited. So right now we just fired up the beat and it's been a little bit since I've been in the studio. I wish I was in the studio more, but as a lot of you guys say, I'm an underrated artist and that comes with a consequence. You guys don't share my music enough, don't push it enough, don't tell enough people this is what happens. You know, I'm in the studio f less and less and less and I, I hope that's not the case for the rest of the year because Putting my music in the videos, I've seen a lot of you, you know, really go and turn up for me in my music. My Shazams has been through the roof, and it's actually what inspired me to get in here today, on top of being 30 days clean from the ganja. So, I'm just gonna warm up my vocals right now and just kind of like feel out this beat. That's how I usually start my writing process. So far, making a song, just being me, being here in my head, not being under the influence of anything is great. Like. I really did come into the studio today with the purpose of like making a song for God, believe it or not. And I wanted to make it in a cool way, you know what I'm saying? I went to church when I was little and I had sang worship songs and they were cool, but let's be honest, they were kind of corny at the same time. So I really wanted to revolutionize the music and make it in a dope way where, you know, people could still listen to it and, and really vibe out and feel this cool vibe, right? Uh, I was in there for about 20 to 30 minutes and I'm just jotting down all the lines that came to mind. And this is not the only page. If I show you guys, it's like I started here, then it went to 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 here, went to here. and yeah. Now, this is what we got so far and I'm going to show you guys. Adrian is, a, again, I tell you guys all the time, he's one of the best engineers in Los Angeles. So. He's gonna add a little sauce, he's gonna line up my doubles, and then we'll give you guys a little preview of what we're working on. I know I said I was gonna show you guys a little preview, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I really had to shit. So I went and shit, and then ironically, I came back into the studio and shit out an entire second verse. So I'm gonna actually lay this down first. Adrian's gonna mix it a little bit more, and then I'll show you guys a preview. So just bear with me for a second. How to let it go. Find a little faith Make it through the highs and lows Can you hear me pray? Straight up, I was so scared to do the session. I really thought I was going to fail today because I wasn't high. I've never done a song sober, like I said, you know, smoking 15 years first music session ever that I did without being under the influence and it's crazy because this is the first song that I dedicated to God and I can confidently say now that it wasn't the weed and it wasn't the alcohol I'm just naturally gifted 
at music. So I really hope you guys continue to share my music with more ears and with your friends and with your family. Because I, I just don't want to waste this talent that God gave me. You know what I'm saying? Imagine having this talent and not even being able to share it with the world. Like right now I'm sharing it with all of you and it means the world to me. But I, was, I want to change lives with my music. So I really need you guys to do me a favor. If you really support me, like take, take my music today, tomorrow, all week, and just share it with more people. Put them on. It's time to show you guys what we made in the studio today. And again, I did this completely sober and for God. Uh, something I want to do, actually, I tore out all my lyrics here. And I, I know it's not a big deal, but to those who it matters to, whoever goes to my Instagram first at have a nice day, letter M, letter O, and DMs me the word all glory or the phrase all glory to God, I will literally sign this and mail it to you. And who knows, maybe the song goes platinum one day and then you got like the original lyrics in your hands. You know what I'm saying? Um, one thing I do want to point out about the song before we start. Uh, in the beginning, I said a prayer for you, for me, for everyone you love. And I did it on purpose because I wanted people to have the song when it came out. And every time it started, I wanted it to be like, like a like you know habit like every time it started you played this to do your daily prayer and then you listen to the song you know what i'm saying but i'm going to put the lyrics on the screen for you guys and then go crazy in the comments because you know how it works these songs don't come out unless you guys really show the record label you want them so if you don't go crazy in the comments for the song you might not ever see this song it's okay to comment more than once for this song if you want to comment 10 times for this song comment 10 times for the song i just need to show my record label that you guys really love my music especially this song and then that way we can put it out asap and just start enjoying it together but shout out to enrique he was so here helping out for sure and shout out to adrian always bro love you bro we always make magic together always <sighs> and uh yeah whenever you're ready boss you you go ahead Heavenly Father, I pray that you continue to bless me and the people I love, the people they love, the people they love, are so important. Bless us spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'm stuck in the most, but now I really feel it, the change in my soul. Yeah, it's getting harder the more that I grow. Really have to make it through highs and lows. Yeah. But I pray all the time. Told them I would bring all the dark to the light. Ask for a reason to live and to die. Had to put my heart on the stars in the sky. Yeah. Cause I was yelling out for something more. Thank you. 
o'clock in the morning, and I still gotta go upstairs and edit this entire video. Woke up at 10, went to the gym, started filming, linked up with Dub, set up a whole studio session for him. Filmed his whole video. <laughs> I'm not letting anyone take credit. That studio and label is mine. If it wasn't for me, he would have to pay full price for that. He didn't pay anything for it. My label was like, that is your studio. You're assigned the label. You want to host a session for him? Go for it. Mm -hmm. Then I let Baby Rich take an hour of my session for my song to make a whole song. But this is because I love the homies, bro, and I don't mind doing that for them. But at the end of the day, I am the best artist in our friend group. You I are. am the best songwriter and artist in our friend group. I told Lexi come down real quick, uh, and I'm going to just get her first time reaction to the song so you guys get to hear it one more time i feel like i already know it's gonna be fire because every time they was like i made a new song even though it's been a while since you have made a new song i'm always just like blown away i'm like i can't even believe like the last song i made was november 28th adrian checked for me and really? it was fantasize yeah I and mean, that still hasn't released but that was the last song i made and damn it was a while ago. yeah so what's so over seven months later I hop in the studio sober and I make this song. You guys have already heard it, but let's get Lexi's reaction right now. Father, I pray that you continue to bless me. The people I love, the people they love, the people they love are so important. Bless us spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. In the name of Jesus. Now I really feel it, the change in my soul Yeah, it's getting harder the more that I grow Really have to make it through highs and lows yeah. But I pray all the time Told them I would bring all the thoughts to the light Ask for a reason to live and to die Had to put my heart in the stars in the sky yeah. Cause I was yelling out for something more Grateful for life right now. Man, I am grateful for life. Bro. Honest. Don't lie. One out of ten. <sighs> Babe, I would never lie to you. That is amazing. Ten out of ten. Like a thousand. Like God, as your witness, watching. God, bro. I would. Yes, one thousand percent. That was like. Let me say, like, 
when I say I'm not surprised it's going to be amazing, like, I know it's going to be amazing, but then I hear it and I'm just blown away. Like, it's always like, I can't even <laughs> explain it. I don't get it. How do you do that? Let me, let me repeat it one more time. I am the best artist, singer, songwriter in my friend group. Zemo is meant I am to one do of this. the best singer songwriters in the world. I'm so underrated and I'm so sick and tired of it. And that's why I need you guys more than ever, bro. You don't oh understand gosh. music is flows through my blood. I don't even think when I do these songs. I get in there and feel everything. I and can feel the beat. I can hear the words just coming out of my head. I was going to say everything sounds like it's meant to be there. Like like all the notes you hit, even the prayer in the beginning, like Dude, it's so beautiful. Like it literally almost brings tears to my eyes. Me too, like, because it's like it's just such a beautiful song, and it's so cool. Yeah. I really made it for like everybody, bro, to have a song, to just be grateful for life, to say a prayer for you and your loved ones before you start vibing. Like it, it's just. I need y'all more than ever, man. I can't explain it. Like, I need you guys to go so hard for me when, as far as, like, sharing the music and, like, telling people about it and really putting people on. Because, like, we can't, like, it's just disgusting if this talent goes wasted. You I'm going to say, like, we need to figure out what we need to do the, to release the song ASAP. Bro, I because told them, they go this... crazy in the comments. Mickey will be like, let's get it going. Yeah, because if you guys don't and this song sits on his phone or sits in a folder at the studio, I'm going to be pissed. pissed. But, babe, can I show you this? Film this really quick. Let me show you. This is all the lyrics. This is you how wrote it on a paper? I'm in the studio and I'm just hearing words in my head, so I'm writing it down. It literally went from changes in me, nobody knows. Like, this is not even the words. And then it went from here to here. That's crazy. To here to here to here to here. Wow. To here. And when I did this second verse, like, it just came out of nowhere. Like, it all just came out at once. And I was just like, oh, man. Like, Please, man. I, I like. I cannot be any more serious. Like, I love doing YouTube. I don't ever want to stop doing YouTube. But I cannot live the rest of my life not being one of the world's biggest artists, bro. Like, I don't. Like, it was crazy. I heard the boys talking in the studio, and they like Dub was like, "This is what you guys do in the studio? You guys make music like this?" He's like, "Damn." He's like, "So you guys just be making hits all the time?" They went, "No, not every song is a hit." And I went. <laughs> I mean, for, for me, every is. song is a hit. I can vouch every for that. Every single song I make is... I've never made a song that's not a hit. Yeah. Like, and I'm telling you, like, people ask me, like, how do you write music? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't, bro. I hear... It just... You know beat what's plays, crazy? And then I just hear everything in my head, bro. You should... Remember those videos we were watching earlier? Of what? You and your sister when you were really young making music, bro. You got to put a clip of that in here and show them that you've been doing this shit for... And it it for was still time. amazing, even when you were yeah, 15 years old. Yeah, even when I was old. 15 years old, my songs... They're not as good as they are now, but they were still hitting. Yeah. Go down below, hit the subscribe button. But then tomorrow, when you watch this video, go tell a friend about my music. Go tell a family member. Send them a song. Pick one that you like. Maybe one that you resonate with or you think that your friend will feel and, and relate to it. And, and move them with my music. Because I make music to connect with the soul. And I make music to help you heal. And I make music to make you feel like you're not alone. I don't make turn up party music. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the type of music I make is different. Nobody sound like me. It makes you feel something. It makes you feel something. And it makes you feel happy and calm and loved. And again, not alone. I appreciate you guys watching this video. And I'll see you tomorrow's vlog. Don't you run.